Hello, everybody. The Hello, everybody. I'm not gonna start over. I'm the Nemean Cannon, and this is the first episode of Give Yourself Goosebumps, read by me. Hopefully, you'll be starting here, because if you don't, the rest of the stories won't make any sense. But let's begin Trapped in Batwing Hall. This town stinks. It's Friday afternoon, the end of, end of your first week at your new school. Your family just moved into this town last month, and so far no one at school has even tried to be your friend. Day after day, you sit in class, waiting for someone to talk to you, waiting and staring at all the strange faces around you. How can you possibly go through the year without any friends, you wonder? You're cool. You know you are. You had tons of friends at your old school. You trudge home slowly. All you have look to look forward to is a boring weekend of watching TV with your parents and your bratty little brother. Then, something hits the back of your jacket. You whirl around. A pebble drops onto the ground. You glance up and notice a brown-haired boy about your own age. Hi, he calls out. I'm Nick. Hi, you reply and introduce yourself. We're in the same class at school, Nick says. That's funny, you think. You don't remember seeing him there, but you smile anyway. You're so happy someone is finally talking to you. I live there, Nick tells you. He points to a two-story greenhouse on the next block. You gaze back at him, shocked. But you can't live there, you exclaim. There's no way! What do you mean I can't live there? Nick asks, laughing. I know my own house! I live next door, you tell him. You point to the red-bricked house next to the green one. The greenhouse has been empty all month. There haven't been any lights on, no cars in the driveway. I was on vacation with my family. We got back last night, Nick says. What do you think of school? Okay, I guess, you reply. You're afraid to say anything more. You never know. Maybe this kid Nick actually likes school. Can you believe how much homework our teacher gave us this weekend? Nick complains. He kicks a stone down the street as you walk. All the kids who had Mr. McCormick last year says he's really tough and mean. A total monster. You agree. The next thing you know, you and Nick are comparing favorite rock groups and comic books. Both of you collect Spider-Man comics. Nick has all the first issues from the last five years, too. Comics are cool, Nick says. But do you know what's even cooler? What? You ask. Horror stories, Nick exclaims. In fact, I... He stops talking and stares at you. What? You ask. What about horror stories? It's probably way too scary for you, Nick replies. Nothing's too scary for me, you boast. That's because you've never been to the horror club, Nick says. What's that? Nick grins. It's a club I belong to. You've got to be really brave to be a member. When we meet, we tell spooky stories. Really scary. Cool, you reply. I love scary stories. Can I join? If you think you can handle it, Nick says. We meet every Friday night at Bat Wing Hall. That's the deserted house at the end of your, our street. It was old presser, Professor Krupnik's house. I've seen that house. It looks haunted, you tell Nick with a laugh. Don't laugh, he warns you. It is haunted. Haunted? For real? You ask. For real, Nick replies. Seriously. That's why we picked it. Some of the scariest story of, stories we've ever heard happened in Batwing Hall. Like what? Like the story of the kids on Halloween night, Nick says. They were all dressed up, trick-or-treating. They rang Krupp Nick's doorbell. A figure dressed in all in black answered, and the kids were invited inside. Only they never came out. What happened? You asked breathlessly. 
Nobody knows, Nick replies. But late at night, you can still hear the kids' screams. Horrible screams. And when the moon is full, some people say they've seen little creatures in monster costumes roaming about inside the house. Trapped. Forever! Wow, great story, you say. It's not a story, Nick tells you. Being a member of the horror club can be dangerous. Very dangerous. He pauses, then adds, Today is Friday. We meet tonight. Do you want to come? What do you think? You can choose the next video now. Option A is risk it and go to the horror club tonight. Or option B, say thanks anyway and go home. So, that is all for this episode. Depending on what you want to do, choose the next episode, option A, to go to the club, or B, to not go to the club. Thank you for listening, and sorry about any mistakes or how poor it sounds. Thank you all. I love you.